A few yards up this hill and a shiny new shed is the brothers' second herd. Now, they're not milked at 5 a.m. or 3 p.m. In fact, they're not milked twice a day, but they do produce more milk. So how can that be? These are the same sort of cows, Holstein Frisians, but the difference is these girls decide when they want to be milked. Chris and Mike don't milk these cows. They've handed the job over to a robot. This doesn't sound like very good news for the cows, but let me tell you something. It could be the best thing that's ever happened to them. This is the machine which puts cows in charge. Wow. This is like something else science fiction. It's incredible. You could buy a house or a very fancy sports car for the £120,000 price tag. But this robot cuts a full day's work down to an hour and a half. It never gets tired, and the cows seem to like it. The cow approaches the robot through a gate. The computer identifies her from her collar tag, dispenses the correct amount of feed, and while she tucks in, the machine washes her teats and then collects the milk. This robot is clever technology. It reduces the amount of labour needed to milk a cow. It also makes milking less stressful for the animal. So the brothers don't have to hook up each cow to the machine. But how does this reduce the stress for the cows? So you, you bring all the cattle in, herd them all in, and then push them through the system, do you? Uh, no, we don't have to be there at all. They come in of their own accord. So you just leave the doors open, they come in when they want? Yes. That is incredible. So why are they coming in when they want? As they produce milk during the day, their udders get tighter and they just want to come in and relieve the pressure. So it's just like, oh, I fancy a bit of a milk. Milk, milk, milk. Oh, That's lovely. It. I love it. And we all know what that feels like. <laughs> Instead of being rounded up twice a day, these cows come in to be milked whenever they want. In fact, they like it so much, some cows come in as many as four times a day. Since they come into the parlour whenever they want to, it looks to me like they're loving it. And, and do you ever get the odd cow that gets a bit addicted to this machine and thinks, oh, I could do with another milk? Yeah, yeah I would say so, because someone will just keep coming around and think they can, but there is a gating system that sort of says, hang on, you've been milked enough today, you know, go back. So if number 26 has been around eight times, the, the computer will go, actually... Yeah, that's No, it, yeah, you're, that's you've it, had your yeah. lot. That's your lot, yeah. It's not only the cows that seem happier, so are the farmers. Chris and Mike say they get more milk from each cow. Instead of 22 litres the traditional way, they're now getting 32 litres, a massive increase. Not only that, but when they send the milk to their distributor for testing, they discover the milk is better quality milk. They test it for fat and protein, which is the creaminess of the milk. What's important about that? Um, we get paid on the creaminess. Right, <laughs> right. If it's not very creamy, they don't like the milk. So what's your, your level? What are you aiming for? Uh, we're looking at 4% butter fat and 3.5% protein. Right, so if you fall below that, you get paid less? Yes. I'm impressed. This appears to be a win-win situation. The cows seem happier, they produce more milk and creamier milk. Maybe one day they'll even label it and we'll be able to buy robot milk. <laughs>